Hello there, and welcome to Dr. T for day, February the 11th, the, um, well, the 11th of February. Stage 1, as always, starting off pretty straightforward, blow up the boom cannon in front of the HQ. Hi, please do not eat that, thank you. Uh, dog thing. Blow up the HQ from the right hand side. Make sure you take out the boom cannon before your grenadiers or your hookah or, or whatever you're using gets up there and everybody will live happily ever after. Now, stage number two, same thing. Go to the right hand side and pew 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 throw grenades. Nice and easy. Here's the thing. If you're using anything that gets up into a closer range, make sure you throw some kind of damage on that boom cannon and everybody will live happily ever after. Well, hopefully, unless the sniper tower does some damage. But make sure to spread your damage with the sniper tower and hopefully you'll be able to take them both out at the same time. <gasps> Moving on to stage three. Now, stage three, uh, really nice. There's a whole bunch of free energy just sitting around on the, on the island there. You can do whatever you want to take it up. Throw critters, throw grenades, throw your aunt when she's really upset at your uncle for getting drunk at Christmas. <gasps> Maybe that's just my family. That would be awkward. Uh, so anyways... Uh, <laughs> Take out all, all of those extra buildings, and uh, aside from giving you a bunch of GBE, which you can use to blow whatever you want up, um, it'll also do damage to the core, which is good because stage 3, almost 300,000 hit points. Like, it is a beefy, beefy base. Moving on to stage number 4. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Stage number four is where things start getting interesting. So there's two boom cannons right near the, the HQ. Both of those got to go. Artillery and barrage, whatever you gotta do. Now the good news is if you drop your troops uh, and, and you're using grenadiers, you are going to be able to farm up a bunch of energy. I, I actually even skipped, there. there's like the little five pack right where I, uh, right near the the beach the beach is the word that i'm looking for words are hard i uh, i could have started off farming that and building up the energy before i got into range of where those boom cannons were had i not been able to take out the boom cannons nice and easily with like you know quick shots and whatnot but then you could also go a little over to the left side. You could farm that a bit. And like then you could also farm the right hand side. Like You could pretty much take down this entire base. Staying out of the range of the boom cannon. Um, if, if it... Ooh, bonus crystal. If that's what you need to do. Now, stage 5. Ba -ba -ba -ba, guess what? More grins. And more farming of these silly machine guns and flamethrowers. They can just sit there and barrage away. Uh, what I was really hoping is that I'd get the angle just right that that boom cannon would start feeling the Gren love uh, from all of the overthrow. It didn't quite work out, but the rocket launcher somehow ended up feeling the Gren love. And I was just like, well, you know, uh, half a dozen of one, six of something else. Eggs. Oh. I get it now. Anyway. <laughs> <coughs> Don't ask. So, uh, after you farm up a little bit on, on the front, hoop, ho uh, hook around the right hand side, you might have to use a few shocks to plug up those sniper towers because they do hit the grens pretty hard. Like, I, I got some pretty high level grens. No, they're not boosted, but, you know, they got quite a bit of hit points and there there are a couple right here you can you can see things are getting painful i had to throw out like the old extra healing box because there's a lot of sniper towers and they're spread out and the medics can't quite keep up now if you dropped a few extra medics hey that that would be cool but i'm assuming you're also going to have lower level medics which would kind of counterbalance things and uh, you know, if you if you got some critters, toss some critters. Make sure they're far away from where the grens are throwing, so the overthrow doesn't kill your critters. Like throw them almost like on the opposite side of the map, and that'll make life a little bit easier. Anyways, uh, 
all said and done, eventually you're gonna clear out, like, well, in my case, everything. <laughs> Darn, I left... One, two, three, four, five, six. I left seven buildings. <laughs> Excluding the core, obviously. I almost feel like I should have just gone through and wiped... Anyway, moving on. Stage five... Sorry, <laughs> that was stage five. Stage six, uh, once again... Farming for energy, uh, it just, just, it's one of the beauties of having the old uh, Grinks. Also what's nice is this starts to clear some of the mines, and then we can use the GBE that we're not using to deploy tanks to take out the boom cannon and the shock launcher, both of which have like 20,000 plus hit points, so it, it needs a little work, like you, you gotta throw some booming into that. The good news is you'll have the GBE to pull it off. Hooray! Also, you can completely skip everything over on the right hand side there because there's like the two shock launchers and like if you really want to go at it, you can go at it, but eh, not needed. Now, uh, full disclosure, I actually end up losing a tank here because of this. I'm, I'm trying to flare over to the side and like a nitwit, I am missing epically. I don't even understand how I am missing that epically, but, you know, there it is. Um, make sure you flare a little better, and you could very easily coast right through this attack without losing a single troop. Um, definitely not, in, you know, out of the question. Um, so, here's the thing. When you're coming back in towards the base, the shock launchers are going to actually have range on the lo <laughs> on the lower tip. Whoa. Uh, yeah, the shocks are going to work on your lower tip, and it's going to slow down your attack. Because, anyways, um, half your troops are shocked. That obviously is how, the, that's why it would slow you down. The good news is, if you if you just kind of let your troops curve around, they're going to take out the cannons in front of the HQ. And once those cannons in front of the HQ are gone, you can suck your troops right back up into the north. Yes, the shock, the, the one shock might still have range on you, but you're going to be able to finish off the HQ, no problem. And if you do have extra energy, you can just throw a shock down and, like, take out that whole cluster just for the fun of it. Now, moving on to stage 7, full disclosure, I looked at stage 7 and was like, this is not the base for Granks. This, it, like, this is the anti-Grank base. Honestly, it would be horrible to attempt. So I was just like, no. Out we go. And I loaded up some warriors, because while this is the anti-grank base this is a warrior's best friend like you've got a nice easy spot to land right on the beach you've got a perfect 45 degree angle cut right up to your second spot or if you're feeling really adventurous right on to the hq now i did kind of mess up my barrage there i really wanted to get that one extra mine there we go it hit my troops. <laughs> uh, I missed it, unfortunately, but whatevs. And then, once you're up here, critter, critter, shock, shock, and big shock. Beat the snot out of that HQ. Anyways, guys, uh, hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully it's been entertaining. And most importantly, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day taking down the tea.